100 lieben Klausen loben. For white guy. You are listening to the Ash Man of Tomorrow podcast. Tonight's topics, randomness. Random topics and I have a bit of an announcement to make. Yeah. <laughs> and that was from that song was from the Offsprings Pretty Fly for a White Guy. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've been listening to a lot of Offspring music lately. I think th- I think that's probably the only song I've heard of them, but not heard it. Just heard the phrase "pretty fly" for a white guy. Well, that sounds that sounds pretty good. They have that one. Uh, they're one of the best songs is "The Kids Aren't All Right." <laughs> so they've got some good songs I like. Offspring's always got good songs. But random topics tonight, and uh, do you want me to do my announcement first? Sure. All right. I want to let everyone know this right here, right now. I am done dealing with Doug eight seven nine eight. What about this long? What do you mean uh, by done? I'm not gonna do any more videos on him at this point. I don't care anymore. He can, honest to God, it's like dealing with a fucking dealing with a moron. I, there's just no point to trying because, to be honest, he. He'll never listen. He'll never learn. So there's no point. This is the guy who did a rant saying that One Piece copied Dragon Ball. And I'm just like, oh my god. Okay, sure, it copied Dragon Ball even though they're 100% completely different. And this is Doug we're talking about here. He, he probably thinks he, it's the uh, four kids version that, that ripped off Dragon Ball. Could be, I don't know, the guy just really just like, I don't care anymore with him, just like, he lives in his little fucking bubble. At this point, I don't care anymore. He wants to make, completely, totally make an ass of himself and not bring facts, that's his choice. Yeah, no argument there, he's pretty predictable. Which is why I've rarely done a video on him. I've done way too many asses. Huh, so what to start off with? Um, I don't know. Uh, one thing I don't think I'll ever do a video. I'm never gonna do anything on Nick. That's one thing I'm gonna make it clear right now. I'm not gonna do any videos on Nick. Yeah, he, I did one video on him, but other than that, there's there's nothing really anything new to discuss with him. Yeah, I did. I, I, I just the fact that only thing I want to say is this that he uses his autism as a freaking crutch. I, I can't Close to, go ahead. I can't do anything in my life because I have autism. So do fifty other thousand million people in the world, Nick. They all have autism too. And they don't make excuses. They go out and work. Yeah. And I heard from from Steve Anime that from a prior conversation with Nick before he was blocked as well as I was blocked by Nick because he can't handle the truth is that Nick doesn't want to work and, tr- and trust me if um, if Nick actually had a job which uh, seasonal jobs don't count he, he, he would not last in my shoes I mean my, my week alone was uh, store inventory at my job. It was grueling. It was hard work. I wasn't thrilled about having to wake up at uh, 5 in the morning and get ready, but I did it anyway. And uh, you know, for the hard work, I'm going to have a pretty big paycheck. But uh, I would just love to see Nick try to do a 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Do a 12-hour shift. Let's see how long he lasts. 
I doubt he would get past two hours. Yeah, well, I'm not, to be honest, I want to, it's just with Nick, he just, he uses his uh, disability as crutch. It's partially because of his mom. His mom fucking screwed him so badly. <laughs> yeah. I still remember that, that phone conversation. His mom's in the background trying to listen in. Like, let me listen in, Nick. And then whenever Nick would say something, she would say, uh, hang up, Nick. None of their business. So at this point, though, I'm not going to bother. I just think Nick, he needs to stop using his autism as a freaking crutch. Yeah. And I also got annoyed with the fact he wanted Stormsync to apologize for liking Twilight better than, than uh, Harry Potter. Yeah, it's like, oh. <clears throat> in regards to Stormsync, um, I, re I what was it? Someone sent me a message. Let me check. Oh, it's Edgar. Now, what is he? Oh, he's just sending me an image. Huh. He didn't send me anything. Okay. Um, in regards to Storm Game Twilight, I really don't think he likes Twilight. I think he he, he just goes with the flow. You know, some so, some people like Twilight, so he jumped on the bandwagon. Then, w when it became clear that dissing Twilight was more popular, he went there and said and started bashing it. Why, like with the uh, when he was uh, giving his thoughts on the Amazing Spider-Man trailer, he's like, "What's with Peter Parker having an Edwards Cullen hairstyle, foot-long hair, or something like that?" It's like, oh, so now he's hating on Twilight. At least when I went from liking Twilight to not liking it, I gave a valid reason why, and went into elaboration into not liking it. For Twilight, it was, um, I watched the first movie and hated it. I was like, this is god-awful. What the hell is this shit? I did. I only saw the first movie and was just like, okay, that's it. This is beyond stupid. And that was, that's my Twilight experience in a heartbeat. So everyone's like, oh, so yeah, that's my Twilight experience. <laughs> but... Anyway, I mean, like, but, uh, like, I mean, I prefer, to be honest, I think Lord of the Rings is far superior to Harry Potter films. I really do. I think it is by far done better than Harry Potter films. Yeah. Speaking of Lord of the Rings, have you seen that, oh, that, uh, Clerks 2 clip on it? Oh, that? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> that was completely retarded. The, the guy saying... <laughs> Here's a uh, how the Lord of the Rings go th goes. He goes Fellowship of the Ring, walk, more walk, uh, two towers, more walking, Return of the King, walks over the edge, picks up, pulls out the ring, drops it. No. I could have, uh, well, I really, I wish they had said, oh, really, then how come Ewok, well, at least in Return of the King, we don't have Ewoks toppling an empire. Well, I mean, I, I agree, that's a little laughable that these two-foot fuzzballs pwn the, the uh, stormtroopers. No, I, I think that I think that was George Lucas's vision of saying, you know, Hold on. Technology. What? I'll be right back. Okay. It's on. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Did you want to go ahead and start over, or? No, no, no. It's fine. I just had to go do something. Okay. But George Lucas, you know, having the Ewoks topple the empires, that just kind of pissed me off. Well, I, I, I kind of viewed that as, uh, 
him saying, I think he, he said it in a, some kind of commentary or interview or something that uh, the whole Ewoks thing, that that was his vision of, of showing, you know, you don't have to have technology to topple the enemy. It's all strategy. Oh, that, that strategy? Why well, Then, Lucas, let me ask you something. How the fuck did one of those little Ewoks manage to ride a speeder bike when it freaked out over a helmet? <laughs> because that made no fucking sense. That's a good point. Th though, I, I don't think it, was, it freaked out. It, it, it was sort of like um, Goku in the first Dragon Ball when, when he viewed uh, Bomba's car as a monster or a demon or whatever. Something like that. Probably. Actually, I'll make a quick amount. Uh, if anyone's if anyone's a member of uh, Steam for PC, they're having a really good deal on some stuff right now. <laughs> I've never checked out a uh, Steam. Uh, they're like they're they're the right stuff for PC gaming. They they basically um have really good deal for PC games. So they have some really good deals right now. If anyone's interested in checking these out, but yeah, <laughs> oh, Edgar's asking if he can call. I don't think he knows I'm doing the podcast. Eh, well, just let him know later that we were doing it. We're busy right now. Have you seen any of the animated films, you know, of uh, the DC universe? Not really. I've seen. Um, I did see a Superman anime film when he was buying. Uh, when he was when his uh, cousin, I think it was his cousin, comes to Earth. Oh yeah, uh, Kara. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was a pretty good. One. I saw that one. I did see. Uh, what else did I see? Uh, what else? I'm trying to think what else I saw. Uh, that's actually about it, probably. I don't really watch. I don't watch a lot of. Surprisingly enough, I don't watch a lot of Marvel or DC. It's like <laughs> I tend to prefer the animated ones over the, the live action versions are good, but it seems more like the uh, animated films are more true to the comic books because they're literally a uh, word for word adaptation of the graphic novel no that's easier to do an animated version than a live action version yeah. it's like well some of them are not particularly specifically to a comic book like uh, see I've seen Justice League Doom which is I think it's based off the uh, the Babylonian or something it's something that's involved with uh, Batman ha having these uh, these so called uh, measures put in place to where if um, if any of the members went rogue there would be a way to stop them and then one of the uh, it would not, not not one of them but the, not, not one of the enemies that we he can be viewed as a uh, rogue uh, gallery enemy of the team, which is uh, Vandal Savage. He, he has Mirror, I think the name is Mirror Master, one of the Flash's villains. G gets the plans and then uh, ha has his own group coming in saying, you know, I'll give you this much money if you agree to take out the Justice League. Yeah. 